Welcome to the Yukon. This is an absolutely classic example of a permafrost face. This is frozen soil that's been frozen for probably many tens of thousands of years. Some of the features you can see, this is an ice wedge. These form when water percolates through the surface and freezes, and water tends to freeze onto other frozen water, and it will actually wedge the permafrost apart and form this structure, which you can see behind us, they might be tens of meters high. You can see a white layer running through the permafrost there. They're really important. That was actually material thrown out of a, a volcano in the St. Elias Mountains. Probably, you know, more, probably maybe 500 kilometers um, from here. What's important about them is that we're able to use uh, techniques to date them to actually get the dates. We don't even know which one this is, but um, another geologist, Grant Zazuli, here suspects it is the Sheep Creek Tephra, um, which means that it would be 80,000 years old. And that everything above this is younger than that, and everything below it is older. What's fascinating is that these rings here, you can see, they're filled in with dirt now, but once upon a time they were dug by an Arctic ground squirrel during a time uh, prior to the last glacial maximum. And the fact that it's still retained approximately the same size and shape as a modern screw by a hole means that at least this section which they lie in has probably remained intact for those, let's say, 80,000 years. Yukon, baby!